what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to talk about final destination 6 in this video here today so first and foremost shout out to jen for revealing these names a few weeks ago related to the cast i was able to have one person from the cast who starred in they slash them confirmed anna lore but this is a massive scoop confirmed report for jen that came out today courtesy of the hollywood reporter so we're going to be talking about found destination 6 bloodlines found destination 6 bloodlines cast has been been confirmed by the hollywood reporter breck bassinger anna lore who i previously tweeted about confirming richard Harmon, tio briones who starred in chucky and pretty little liars i previously went over tio's inclusion as well and teased it a bit on twitter caitlin santawana Owen Patrick Joyner, Max Lloyd Jones, and Tenpo Lee. I think there's one other person I'm forgetting. But those are the cast members that have been confirmed for Final Destination Bloodlines, which is currently filming out in Vancouver. Now, Caitlin, Breck, and Teo have been cast as leading roles, according to this report. My assumption is that Caitlin must be the Stephanie character I've been talking about. Breck is a cousin character, I would assume. And Tio is playing Stephanie's brother, who I think is named Charlie, unless his name is changed. Granted, the character of Caitlyn's might not be might not even be named Stephanie. Those will all be placeholder names. But go ahead and follow Jin on Twitter, and I'll leave a link to his profile in the description for those of you who want to follow Jin. This article goes on to mention plot details about Final Destination 6 bloodlines are being kept under wraps. But notice in the article, for those that have read it and already know about this news, it never mentions the first responders plot being relevant a plot that i and several others had been saying was scrap despite reports from other reputable outlets saying otherwise if you want to know what went on during the first responder story i will leave a link to a video of mine in the description because craig perry recently seemingly confirmed that the information is true in a video that was published a few months back final destination six will now see us explore a bloodline that should have never existed because of their grandmother who was named esther saving a bunch of people in the 60s from a tower collapse i'm going to get into some rumored bits about the plot as well the opening sequence and some potential death sequences you can expect to unfold in the film that have been shared with me but i will address this first obviously there's the question of where is quintessa so to everyone who's asking about quintessa my guess is that quintessa was likely part of the planned 2023 shoot and couldn't commit to the project anymore after the strikes held up production which led to of course things having to shift in terms of when filming will start and then if things had to shift it didn't align with people's availability so certain roles had to be recast i'm going to assume that one of those unfortunately might have been quintessa if she was legitimately a part of the project at one point in time tony todd's childhood we know is also going to be explored during this upcoming film which may make or break the Bloodworth character's mystique, since a lot of people want to see that mystery aspect uh, reserved and or, or preserved. We know Tony Todd also has tweeted out that he was on his way to Vancouver to shoot a blockbuster. Again, no doubt going off a of bloody disgusting report. It has to be for Final Destination 6, unless there's two blockbusters he's on his way to shoot out in Vancouver. Either way, one is 100% going to be Final Destination. So let's talk about some fun rumored details that i've heard these are not confirmed these are just things that are rumored that could play into the opening sequence well i guess some aspects of it are confirmed so the opening sequence is going to take place apparently in the 60s which i've talked about in the past being in the 60s daniel rpk has also reported on that too this tower collapse though that i've been talking about it's allegedly got a restaurant that sits at the top of it so it's that type of tower and it's a tower that's named skyview the skyview tower i did mention the name skyview previously in an old found destiny video of mine but basically there's an accident and a fire and some other disasters happen leading to the entire thing collapsing obviously i would assume there's some madness that occurs inside of the restaurant that sits atop of the tower and then it's just going to collapse and the main characters that are in the present time having the premonition as a dream are going to be carrying the story in this case that's going to be stephanie who is going to have the premonition and apparently from what i've heard stephanie is stephanie's premonition is quite different one because she's having a premonition of a past event that is not a future event it's already happened but when this event is unfolding stephanie is apparently in the shoes of her grandmother so they seem to have the younger cast playing 
who would have been in the premonition in the 60s i, I don't know really how to explain it that well S basically what's happening is stephanie is going to be in the premonition visibly but she's going to be portraying the role her grandmother would have fulfilled if the premonition didn't get botched thanks to her grandmother esther's efforts to save everyone apparently there's also going to be a tattoo shop sequence the tattoo part that's been confirmed but there's also allegedly an mri machine sequence and a garbage truck sequence throughout the movie the tattoo sequence again has already been confirmed craig perry hyped it up many months back and daniel rpks reported on this character that should be connected to the tattoo sequence as well because stephanie has a cousin named derek who is a tattoo artist that doesn't believe stephanie when she is telling him about their family's curse so the tattoo sequence obviously should be aligning with a tattoo artist character that we can expect to meet in final destination bloodlines but what do you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below are you looking forward to final destination bloodlines why or why not let me know all of that down in the comment section do you think they should be exploring the character of william bloodworth why or why not what do you think about the rumor of a restaurant sitting at the top of this tower and it being a part of the tower collapse because when i heard about the tower collapse i was honestly envisioning for some reason some sort of high-rise complex <laughs> but a tower being at the top of it makes it even more terrifying in a way so it should be a fun sequence can't wait to see how that all is executed on screen everybody that's been reported in the cast i get some people are like oh nobody knows who these people are some people do know who they are one person i think was in a dc show star girl people definitely knew quintessa she's not in the project it seems apparently she could actually be another role but it doesn't seem like for now she's in it but people know who these who these stars are i would also argue that keep in mind it's not like the franchise has always been using these big name stars in the past anyway they were just names that happened to grow into stars that's all I can really tell you about that. They don't need to be having these A-listers in the IP the way you think they need to. Some of the people who are revered and considered these high-status stars now that appeared in Final Destination in the past, they were not big when those movies came out. They just happened to grow from their participation in Final Destination. That's really all I can say about that. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.